started. Sit back, put your feet up and crack open the wine. Tom Canavan is here and I believe we're going Italian tonight, Tom. Ah. Going to Italy indeed, <laughs> Michelle. Stephen, yes. We've featured Italian wines once or twice in the show over the last few months, but we've never focused on the country and done three wines from there, which is what we're doing tonight. After Austrian wine, we're looking forward to this one. Yeah. I know, listen, those Austrian wines are pretty good, I think. I look, enjoyed them. They, they were, were good. good. Michelle liked them. <laughs> now, listen, the Italy is actually the biggest wine-producing country on the planet. It makes more wine than France or Australia or any of the other ones that you might think of as the big ones. And partly that's because it's got this wonderful variety of climates from the north to the south, up in the north, up in the, the Alps and the Dolomites. It's skiing country, you know, with really cold, crisp whites. Right down in the south, we've got the Mediterranean climate with all those big reds. So it does everything. So we were talking about this earlier, though, and all we think about is Pinot Grigio and Chianti, but there's a lot more to it, obviously. That's not all we think about, clearly. We do think about other things, exactly. but, but most of the time... On a Friday. Like <laughs> in terms of wines, that's what you think about. No, that's right, but there is an awful lot more to it. Um, wines made up and down the country, and we're going on a little bit of a journey from south to north tonight with three different wines, three different grapes from kind of classic parts of Italy. Okay. Where do we start? OK, we're starting right down in the far south. In fact, we're on the island of Sicily. Sicily's the big island just off the kind of toe of Italy out in the Mediterranean. So really hot, you know, kind of really warm climate where they can make the big reds. And this first red is the Cusamano Nero Davola. Now, Nero Davola is the grape. It's from 2008. And you can see from the colour of it that it's a really dark, deep red wine. Mm. This one's all about the fruit, not about the oak. So have a little taste of this one. Lovely kind of cherry and plum kind of fruit, I think. You know, very really kind fruity. Of really fruity. Not a, not a one with lots of that kind of oaky, strong flavour that you usually don't like so much, Michelle. This one's really about the fruit. I know it's nice. Nice, isn't it? Lovely and crisp. I think it's a really good wine for simple foods. This is for having with your pizza or having with a bowl of pasta, you know, spaghetti bolognese or something. Nothing too fancy. Just a really good, fruity, good value wine at £5.99 in Oddbins. And as always, Michelle and I like the label, which helps as well. label always helps, yeah. <laughs> um, That's how we pick our wines. What's the most colourful? Oh, it one. has what they call shelf appeal. And it does, you know, so that, that works. But, you know, Great. at £5.99 Oddbins, I think it's a really nice one to kick us off. Yeah, tonight. lovely. Nice. Very nice. We like that. Moving on, next we're going to the classic region of Chianti. Now, Chianti this time is not the grape. The grape's actually called San Giovese. But the region is Chianti, all around the city of Florence, kind of halfway up Italy, basically. And one of the most famous, you know, regions of all of Italy and makes them a lot of really good red wines, always quite crisp and quite fresh. This one is the, the Piccini Chianti Superiore, 2007. And this one's 7.99 in Sainsbury's. Although until the 9th of September, there's a couple of quid off, so it's 5.99. So it's oh a bit of a deal, as like a deal, isn't it? little tasting of this one. A bit more kind of warmth and spice, I think, to this one. Oh. I've had this before and I, I really like this. It's really jammy, isn't it? Jammy is the perfect expression, Stephen. It's like taking a scoop of cherry jam or something, mm. you know, really kind of sweet, sweet it's fruit lovely. on the palate. Beautiful wine to have with um, like things that. like roast pork or, or roast lamb. Really, really good. The acidity cuts through the fattiness of any meats like pork or lamb too, which really works well. And, um, you know, I can have an all-round banker, a really good wine for, mm. for food matching for your... Sunday roast for anything. Though. Now, you're not a big red fan, Michelle. Do you like no, that? No, but I've nearly drank that entire glass. Yeah, <laughs> yes. you know, it's lovely. I do like that one. Mm. I'm kind of torn. The first one was quite nice. Well, a, wee more, a wee bit lighter for me, I think. A bit a more fruity. But, but no, I think your nice. tastes are changing over the weeks. You know, you're, you're, you're liking the reds a wee bit more. It's going to be your fault that I now like two different you types of wine, white and red. You've got to twice as much. Let's yeah. never do rosés, OK? <laughs> no, that's it. OK, just to confuse things a bit further, let's try this one on the end. OK, so we've moved from the very south, from Sicily up to around Florence. And if you've got the map of Italy in your head, we're up around Milan now in the very far north mm -hmm. of Italy, northwest, beautiful area. And this is another classic wine. It's a Barbera from, the, from this region near to Milan. This is the Brico Garelli Barbera d'Asti Superiore, 2008. Big long name. showing off for your <laughs> Italian. £6.59 in Morrison's. And again, if you want to have a little go at this one, this has been aged in some oak oh too. Yeah, it's a bit spicy. Stephen, you're good tonight. You're spot on. There is spice there, isn't there? <laughs> the grape has some spice. The oak gives it some spice. Mm. But it's still got that nice kind of... I'm not going to say the word... Well, I'm going to say the word. But I'm saying bitter. But I don't mean bitter. That'll put people off. It's just got something kind of succulent about yeah. it. A bit of bite, a bit of grip in it. Yeah. 
which again makes it brilliant with food. I like it. I love the fruit, all that kind of cherry and that kind of plummy fruit. Yeah, quite chocolatey as well. Actually. It comes quite chocolatey, yeah. and the oak helps with that as well. You know, n nice bit of kind of richness there. Yeah. But another cracking one for your Sunday roast or for a big mm. plate of spag ball or something. Yeah, you, you can know. imagine that. Absolutely. You, you like your red wine? Would you I go for I that one? I actually, yeah. I mean, I, I would have chosen it until that point, the middle one. Middle one. But I really like that one on the end, just because it's got a bit more kick to it. Pretty good, isn't it? Mm. it? I mean, three red wines, three nice fruity red wines, all from Italy. Little point a difference all around the kind of five six pound mark and it shows you there's a whole variety of stuff that's out there if people want to experiment a little bit very nice i think it might be converted now to the italian red yeah i know we like these there's some good prices there as well as you say there are yeah i mean i, I think that's right Th this is as you know this is my happy hunting ground for wines where you get the compromise between value for money mm -hmm. and getting a bit of extra attention in the wine mm -hmm. much cheaper than this you're paying too much to the tax yeah. man paying a lot more than that and you're into the world of you know kind of rarity and fashionability but around the kind of six seven pound mark is it's my really is my best quality region. Right, Great next as week. now next week 5th of february we're a week out from valentine's day so we're don't going remind to, me we're i'll be bringing them off with a stick to you will be i know we? that but we're going to start the romance early we've got some romantic wines for valentine's oh. day next there friday fabulous color white red yeah a little bit of pink a little oh. bit of fizz maybe in yeah, there a little well. bit of fizz you've got it yeah. 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 all right should be Tom, good thank you very much